Hi, hello, howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 3. I'm not going to open every segment with, oh my god, it's been so long. It's been so long since I've recorded a segment, but for anyone watching the playlist, it has been like three weeks. Also, if you're watching the playlist of this, like, months or years after I recorded this, hi, you exist, you're real. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I think the next sub, sub story, sub story, I can talk today. The next sub story we have to do is, uh... The Old Man's Memories, which is uh, going to be started by going in front of Millennium Tower. So, he's in front of the east door on Millennium Tower. I went the wrong way. I definitely went on the west side. Uh, so, now I have to acknowledge it and say what a fucking fool I am. I don't know. <sighs> we, uh, we will eventually be done with... My god, I... You don't even run into them, and they just start the encounter. I avoided him very clearly. Whatever. I will say this recording setup for uh, PS3 games is not the most convenient. The PS3's cable cord is kind of like right on my leg. And I can live with it, but it's just annoying. You mind? Like... I will get used to this recording setup, I'm sure. It's not the end of the world. I'm really mostly just worried about this room getting really hot in summer. It's thankfully the beginning of autumn, even though it's still getting hot. What the fuck? Uh, but like, you know, so I don't have to worry about that for a good while. But it is still going to be a consideration. Okay. Could you please, like, just fall over and die? Fall over and explode, thank you. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say about specifically Yakuza 3. Uh, Marf, I, I really don't know what to say. Uh, I'm hoping we can be done with the sub-stories in Chapter 5 soonish. I don't know why I keep playing with the camera, I'm just like obsessed with doing that right now. Anyways, uh, where is this door? Is it here? Um, by any chance, when they say in front of the east door, did they mean this one? Oh my god, they did. <sighs> Alright, so I'm editing out the past, like, five minutes of me fucking around and trying to start another sub-story and not being able to. Because the wording that said the east door made me think it was the door on the east side of Millennium Tower. I might actually keep that part in of me checking the east door and be like, where do I go? Uh, it's gonna be one of those segments. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. At least we can do this now, so. What's wrong, Pops? You lost or something? How's about we show you the way? Camarojo's pretty wild and crazy, man. It ain't the place for, or ain't no place for an old guy to be walking alone. Uh, actually, I'm not really lost. Okay. Um. Dot dot dot. What is? It? Oh, smatter pops. Speak up. It ain't like we're trying to mug you or nothing. Hey, you there. What are you doing? Shit. We got a book. Uh, Alright. Wow, he's running so fast. And I thought for sure we had that old dude in the bag, too. I think I gave him the wrong voice. Whatever. You okay? I am. Um, thank you for that. They just wouldn't leave me alone. Is there something wrong? Yeah. No, no, I'm just a little pooped out, that's all. I, 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 I that's a weird, I, I guess to be fair, a little pooped is the expression, but it definitely feels a little, ah, oh, whatever, fuck it. I haven't been to Kamurocho in a while. I was last here more than 60 years ago, after the war, when it was one big black market. That reminds me, there's something I'd like to ask you. Is there a supon suppin? 
Is it Supon or Suppen? I I'm gonna say Supon Street because that would be more likely the Japanese pronunciation, like the pre, like the kind of the the character Su, whatever. Also, those P's look like G's, but I know that it's a it's soup on the seat, whatever. Around here, Supon Street. Yeah, I've got some business with a bar on Supon Street. Name of Jinsai. I thought I knew where it was, too. But damn, if this place hasn't changed in 60 years, I feel like a complete newcomer. Plus, I've been walking around, or I've been walking so much I can barely stand. I hate to take advantage of your kindness, but... Do you think you could find me that Jinsei place on Supon Street and let me know where it is? I need to rest here a little longer. Jinsei on Supon Street. Well, anyways, uh, so now we're going to go to Shellac, I think? Uh, go to Supon Street. Oh, no, never mind. I'm thinking of the other quest that I tried to do off screen now, technically. Uh, where is Supon Street? Uh, wouldn't I love to know? Champion, Senrio, Pink, Showa, Nakamichi Alley, just all of it. Um, Taihei, Nakamichi, Tenkaichi. Where is Supon Street? Over here? Theater. Supon! Here we go. It's right by Stardust. Uh, so now we need to go all the way to Supon Street and talk to the guy in red. I'm going the wrong way. It is... <laughs> got that person. It is genuinely a little hard to see this mini-map in this resolution. <sighs> no, don't don't talk to me. Don't. I don't want to fight. No fighting. You know, it's like... I, I'm, I'm like... I'm like Jackie Chan in every action movie. I don't want any trouble. I guess to be fair, I haven't seen a Jackie Chan movie in forever. You know, movies that he individually works on. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I think it was the street down here. Let's see. So there should be a guy in... Oh, no! No! Oh, fuck. Fuck. I don't want... These guys are just going to waste my time. And yet they're going to make the segment go by faster. Hashtag hack. Whatever. What the fuck? I didn't know they could do that. You mind? There. Fuck off. How was I supposed to know there was immediately going to be... A fucking button press. Oh my god, you immense fuck. I just, I hate that they can, like, pick up items and shit. Like, it's annoying. I know this is how it probably feels, but I don't give a fuck. Alright, fuck you. What do you mean there's a- why are there suddenly button prompts and heat actions? Did I like- did I get a new upgrade that makes them like, Whatever. It doesn't really matter because like I'm still doing damage with them, but now I have to look out for those? It's not the end of the world. It's not like heat actions haven't done it before, but... Peculiar. Okay, where is this- am I not on Supon? Uh, excuse moi. Well, this is the right place. Uh, talk to the old man. Go to Super Tree and talk to the guy in red. Where is a guy? Okay, there's a guy in red, but I can't talk to him. There's actually no one I can talk to, it seems like. Oh. Oh. That is such a muted color of red. I would describe him another way, as in, like, the guy on the left, but whatever. Excuse me. Do you know if there's a bar called Jinsei around here anywhere? Jinsei? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that place. It was right across from us, but it was turned down ages ago. I love how, <laughs> I love the guy we beat up just like <laughs> he's just like he's recuperating while we're like talking to this okay, whatever. There's another building there now. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Do you know if it moved somewhere else? Good question. This was back when all that cut. Well, the what? What? All that lone lone shark, I think. All that lone shark stuff was going on. God, it is so hard to read right now. Like these, this text just ugh. Rumor has it they needed a tidy sum to stay put. Okay. This reminds me of how, like, one of the biggest complaints when Dead Rising launched was that the text was so fucking small and difficult to read. Like, not even, like, gameplay mechanics. I mean, granted, people had complaints about it, but... Like, that's the one takeaway I always got from reading reviews about the game. Was that just, like, holy fuck, the text is impossible to read. Because everyone complained about it. Oh, yeah, I did hear they moved over to the Champion District. Also, I spoiled the quest because we have to go there eventually. <laughs> Oops. The Champion District. Thanks, you've been a big help. We don't go to Shellic though. But I did spoil the the Champion District's existence. Uh, I don't know. Uh, while we're here, since I've taken damage, uh, let me let me check what's better to dine at. Um, Matsuya. Um, I think we have a lot of stuff to eat at Matsuya, so let's go here. It was Korean rice that we've already eaten. Like, that's the... That's, we need to go next down from that. Okay, Matsuya. Here we go. So, original Korean rice. Yeah, we gotta we gotta progressively knock this one out. Can I, can I order another thing? Yay! I have just barely enough health to do it. Um, uh, I think it was original Korean rice. Looks like it increases your heat, too. Wow, that's incredibly useful. Awesome. Alright. Uh, are there by any chance any... If there's any keys, I probably already got them. Yeah, whatever. But uh, I guess while I'm walking to Champion District, I do want to say... I tried to start another quest that it looks like we have the ability to do in the PS3 version. Uh, why is the thing super zoomed in? There we go. Uh, it looks like we have the ability to do another like substory after this, but I couldn't figure out how to trigger it. Uh, with, so long story short, we have to go into M store in Kamurocho and walk near the magazine rack, and then like a cutscene should happen. But I couldn't get it to trigger. Also, I need to. I gotta be careful. This guy here. Fuck off! Don't fight me. Okay. I couldn't get the cutscene to, it's whatever, the trigger for the substory to happen, which is weird, so I guess I'll try that again once we do this substory. I kind of wanted to just start doing the main plot, see if maybe I had to progress a little to, to get stuff to open up again, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it another academic try. I don't know why I threw an academic there. <laughs> whatever. Uh, we're going to southeast, southeast part. Southeast part of Champion District. Hello. I told you, give me back the cash. All you got left of value in that house of yours is that fancy Buddhist altar. What does that say? Oh, snot-nosed punk. What did you call me? If I'm a snot-nosed punk, what does that make you? Borrowing money from one. Step in. Wait it out. Let's step in. Hey, that's enough. And who the hell are you? Butt out, pal. This ain't no concern of yours. As soon as I see somebody hitting an old man, that's when it starts being my concern. Fuck that. I'm gonna beat your ass black and blue. Yay. Yippee, we get to play with the little, the big boy. I don't know, I'm just... Is it just him? Hi. Oh, okay, I thought for a second my controller was, like, dying. No! Oh my god, I was actually trying to do a heat action so I could finish with a heat action, but whatever. I keep, like, wanting to go for the finishing combat encounters with heat action thing just so I can get that trophy, but whatever. Ah! You'll pay for this! He's, like, running away. Should have just minded your own business. 
Jinsei, eh? Say, you wouldn't happen to have, uh, have had a place up on Subon Street once upon a time. Yeah, I sure did. What of it? Somebody's looking for you. Or been looking for you. Probably some loan shark wanting to shake me down. Just leave me alone. It'd be so fucking funny if the old man is another loan shark and then we have to beat him up. I found the bar, for what it's worth. Guess that means I should go tell the old man in front of the Millennium Tower. While I'm here, let's visit Shellac and drink some booze. I mean, might as well. Uh, is Shellac one over? Hello, Shellac. Shellac? Where the fuck is she? There it is. I need to double check what I have and haven't drank in here. Uh... Is it, is it considered dining? I guess it is. Uh, yeah. Okay, Yamazaki, Hakushu, and Hibiki. Yamazaki, Hakushu, Hibiki. I wish it was in order. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yamazaki, Hakushu, Hibiki, Hakuto, Hakuto, excuse me. This malt whiskey is the result of extensive research into developing the mildest flavor. Mildest. Okay. It really reigns in whiskey's peculiar taste, making it a good making it a good for first timer. Uh, okay. So I didn't misread that. Making it a good for first timers. So there's definitely a word missing after good, but whatever. It's quite enjoyable, even to those more accustomed to drinking softs. I can't read that. Malts? I sincerely can't read that. Softs, salt, salt, and the like. Well, you, know, you know, comment down below if you know what that says. As I'm recording this, I definitely don't know. <laughs> Whatever. The common recurring complaint with this game is that I can't fucking read the text. I just, it's really baffling. Like, in cutscenes, too, it's like they don't have any black border for the words. It's like, that's motherfucking typography 101. Whatever. The bamboo charcoal filtration it goes through ensures a clean, pure taste. It's particularly good, mixed with one part water or soda. It was soda. Comment down below if you commented soda. <laughs> it was soda. Or soda water on the rocks. I don't know why I could read it then. I think maybe because, like, soda water makes sense. Whatever. Alright. Could I interest you in another drink? So... Why did it go to a blank screen? Did it do that last time? It must have, and I just didn't notice. This rectangular bottle is probably the most popular whiskey in Japan. Some even call it the father of Japanese whiskey. Its popularity shows no signs of waning, much like the Yakuza series, which I will never be current with ever. Even after 70 years on the market, much like the Yakuza series... <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> it has a sweet aroma, depth, and full body. The bottle shape is so unique, some people ask for the square bottle. That is kind of a cool bottle, I won't lie. Kind of reminds me of, like, Fiji water bottles. Anyways, uh, when they want this one. Though, if we are talking about water bottles, nothing tops the fucking gigantic smart water bottles. Right, we can still drink. We're still good. Suntory, my fave. I say as I don't have any opinion on any alcohol or liquor ever. This is another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in sherry barrels. Sherry? Thir 30? What? Sher what? I'm gonna say sherry. What the fuck is a sherry barrel? <laughs> is it sherry from Resident Evil? <laughs> ah, whatever. At the Yamazaki Distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. Okay. None of this means anything to me, personally. 
This yields a bright aroma and a sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. I wish I liked alcohol. It seems like it'd be kind of fun to be a, an alcohol snob, but I'm, I'm never drinking it, and I never will. For my own personal reason. No, I, just, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people call it Dharma. I've been saying Dharma a lot unironically recently, because, like, it's fun to say, like, oh, you're doing that? You're going to unbalance the Dharma of the universe. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just a fun little word to pull out in regular conversation. You know, it's a concept that a lot of people probably don't know off the top of their head. So it makes you look smart as shit. Anyways, because the round shape looks like a Dharma... Dharma doll? Did you mean Daruma? Dharma is not Daruma. Am I crazy? Am I... Okay, interrupting the segment, I need to look up. Is it Dharm... There's... Is Dharma a doll? Dharma doll. It's, they meant Daruma. Okay, okay, I'm not crazy. They meant Daruma. Okay, okay. Thank God I'm not crazy. I thought for sure, I thought for sure I was crazy when I saw it. It's Daruma. D-A-R-U-M-A, not Dharma. Okay, now here comes the follow-up question. Is the NPC saying Dharma incorrectly, or was it a localization error? Or, even worse, was it originally like that in the Japanese script because they didn't know that? There's actually there's three possible answers here. Damn. Why am I spending this much time on this? Whatever. Let's move on. Alright, that's probably the last thing we can drink. Yippee! We're, we're wasted. Uh, can I level up? No. Alright. Now I can do that one special uh, technique I can only do when I'm drunk. Which... I don't even remember really how to do, so... Whatever. I'm so naming the segment Dharma Doll, and you cannot stop me. Because it'll make me look like dumb as all fuck, because people will be like, Oh, actually, you meant Daruma, and they won't watch the segment, and then... And then that'll get me engagement, and then when I get all my billions of dollars from all my clearly monetized videos... Uh, I will buy the planet, and then I'll buy Twitter from Elon, uh, Elon Musk, and then I'll delete Twitter, and I will heal the universe with that one action. I have it all planned out, you see. Anyways. I kind of, I, I've said this before, I kind of wish I hadn't started Let's Playing these games. I would love to just play this game on my own time and not have to be beholden to not playing it. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. So yeah, I found Jinsei for you. It's still alive and well in the Champion District. Oh my, really? Can you take me there? I don't remember this guy's voice and it's only been like 10 minutes. I... I have to tell him I'm sorry. Take him to Jinsei. Turn him down. Ask him for the reason. Uh... Ask him about the debt before you take him to... Yeah, okay. Ask him the reason. I was wondering if asking him would change anything. I guess we have to. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Then I'll decide whether I'll take you there or not. You're right. There's more to this story than I've let on. The war ended. We returned to the, to the Scorched. Okay, yeah, Scorched Wasteland. Sorry, I didn't realize the next word was Wasteland. To the Scorched Wasteland of Tokyo and set up Shogi on Kamurocho's black market. We bought up... We bought up... We bought up crappy rice from the stock. Okay, so the sticks. We bought up crappy rice from the sticks and started selling gruel. With barely enough food to go around, we made a fair bit of money. I bought. He sold. We combined our efforts and it paid off. But I... I betrayed him. I ran off with our savings. The money we'd earned together. I was tired of doing things the hard way. So I joined forces with the other dealers and bought a truck with the money I'd stolen. I could carry a lot of things in that truck. Veggies, meat, even people. Excuse me. What? When I was working away, my company grew and grew until suddenly it was a huge corporation. But I was always afraid. 
my company, my truck, my success, it all came down to the money I took from him. I don't expect him to forgive me. Maybe I'm just trying to make myself feel better, but all I want to do is tell him I'm sorry. I see. That's quite a story. Please, take me there. Take him to Jinsei. Alright. You've convinced me. Think you can keep up? I'll do my damnedest. Well, I still want to know what he meant by even people, but okay. So this is it, huh? Luigi. This is his place. Tagami! It's me! It's Zaizen. Shintaro Zaizen. Zaizen? Zaizen. Is it really you? Forgive me, Tagami. I have to apologize for what I've done. What are you talking about? Back when we were working on the black market, I... I stole the money we'd earned. Worse, I betrayed my friend. I know this won't make up for anything I've done, but... I've set aside 10 million yen for you, and I want you to accept it. Wait a second. I can't take that money from you. Tagami? Oh, then we'll gladly accept it on your behalf. Right, Mr. Tagami? This is perfect. You owe us a million yen. And once we ta tack on various fees, well, we'll call it... So, what? What does that say? It will call it... S what? I can't read that. Sigur... Sigur... Whatever. At a cool 10 mil. I don't know what that word was either. I love being able to read the text in this game. T Tagami, you're, you're in debt? You stay out of this. Enough bullshit. Pay up. Now. Stop the loan track. Wait it out. <laughs> You're out of place, friend. Can't you see these men are trying to have a conversation? Who the fuck do you think you are? Sticking your nose in sh where it don't belong. I thought that said share. Forgive me, I thought it said share. And I do believe in life after love. And I won't go breaking your heart. Actually, was Cher the one who did the duet with, with Elton John on that one? I don't remember. I don't think she was. That's a good song, though. Hey, asshole. What do you mean I can't do a heat action? Oh my god. What is going on here? Why can't I use my heat? I'm in heat. Puppy needs to, to use his heat. Come on. Asshole, thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, the QTEs. I guess they're not QTEs, they're more just... Whatever. I, one of the upgrades I got must, like, make them more powerful if I do a, a reaction. Okay, you, you are a little fuck and I'm gonna hit you now. Okay. Oh! Damn, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, What the hell, man? Enough. Just wait there until these two are done talking. <laughs> He's not even telling them to leave? He's just saying, like, wait your turn. It's very rude to interrupt. That's so... <laughs> Whatever. You can really tell he runs an orphanage based on that. Please, Tagami, take this money. If you don't, I... I... My current debts have nothing to do with you. These... These are for my wife. It's cancer. She was at the, ho the hospital for surgery. It cost us a lot of money. Uh, Breaking Bad, hello? 
We've had to work so hard for so long. I guess to be fair, that premise isn't exactly Breaking Bad, but like, rich person offering to pay someone's medical debts and the person refusing is the premise. All I wanted... Well, I guess to be fair, in this case, is the person refusing on her behalf. Why don't you ask your wife, actually, asshole? Asshole, ask your wife about her medical debt. Be, be like, hey, honey, we, we can pay off all your cancer debt. and But I chose not to. Because I, cause I was so prideful. What the fuck? I would divorce you. I would say, like, why are you making financial decisions for me? What the fuck? Give me, give me Zaijen's number. I'll fucking... I'll take it. Do, 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 do. Hello, Zaijen. Give me your fucking money, old man. Fuck. What the fuck? All I wanted was for us to spend our last years together in peace. But... But, in fact, your sticky fingers led me to my wife. I lost my money and had to sell the shop. I wound up living and working in a sushi joint in Kamurocho. That's where I met her. I did hate you once upon a time when I was younger. But why hold on to old grudges? I'm content. Or, as a modern person would say, I'm content. That might be all well and good for you, but not for me. I insist you take this money. Does anyone want to ask the wife what she wants? Anyone going to ask the person who has the, the medical debt what they think? Anyone? Hey, loan shark. Okay, well, at least he's insisting on paying it, I guess. Here, this is yours. All of it. Take it and never show your face around here again. Y yes, sir. You got... So we beat the shit out of them and they still get their money? What the fuck? They extorted a guy who had cancer, or whose wife had cancer. And they were gonna beat him up. And they just get their money? What? What the fuck is this story? <laughs> Thanks a million. No, 10 million. What the fuck? Why do they get the happy ending? I mean, sure, they got beat up, but like, who gives a shit? Whatever. If I got beat up for 10 million dollars, do you think I would be unhappy? I guess to be fair, ten million dollars isn't ten million yen. I don't remember. Whatever, a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. I'd be happy. I mean, it would hurt like fuck probably, but. Zaizen, what are you? Stop! I didn't give that money to you. I gave it to you. Okay, thank you. You know what, Zaizen? You've won me back. You may be a rich asshole, but you you pulled me back in. Out of pity for not for having to put up with a royal pain in the ass like you. Yeah. It's still way too much money. You, but bro! Then what say my drinks are on the house from now on? That's a pretty hefty pi price to pay for you to pay. For the, for the, that's a pretty pop to pay. To buy, but that, that's what you want. Now go introduce yourself to my wife. Alright. This, this kind of sucked, but whatever. That sounds like a fine idea. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I would never have been able to talk with my old friend without your help. All I did was bring you here, nothing more. <laughs> Live as long as I have and you can just tell. You're a man of no ordinary caliber. In fact, we could say your caliber is soul. Won't you tell me your name? Kazuma. Kazuma Kiryu. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Cosma. I'll never forget you, not as long as I live. Please accept this as a mere token of my gratitude. Now, if you'll excuse me, you got 100,000 yen. That's it? I mean, that's good money, don't get me wrong. I guess they don't want to, like, give the player too much money, but, you know, whatever. Well, that quest, that substory kind of sucked. How did that take almost 40 minutes? Whatever, and I haven't even leveled up. Whatever, and I need to split the segment. Well, with that out of the way, I guess we only have the uh, the sub story that I was trying to do earlier left right now. I can't drink more, can I? You know, I'm not gonna bother. I probably can't. Uh, so I need to go to M store. Uh, there's only one in Kamurocho. That was another thing. I could have sworn, like, I was saying this in the the part I edited it out. I could have sworn there was more than one M store in Kamurocho. Maybe I was mixing it up with Popo. But, like, I don't know. I guess, to be fair, it's... Oh, my God. Fuck off, cunt. Am I allowed to say cunt on you? I said cunt. I've said, I've said cunt so many times. Who cares? I actually kind of forgot for a second if I could, but whatever. 
If I was really trying to play the YouTube game, I would have thrown in a really loud and frankly intrusive, like, bleeping sound. But whatever. Yeah, whatever, asshole. I, I, okay. This guy is kind of a little fuck, isn't he? I like saying that. You're just you're just kind of a little fuck. Oh my god, let me you you're not you're not playing very politely. Neither am I though. Oops, you're dead now. So much for defense, you well you need to defend yourself from the way I'm gonna kick your ass next time. If there is a next time. I don't know. That didn't I, that was a lot less cool than I meant for it to be, but whatever. And bye. One of these days we'll get the heat action trophy and it will be uh, biblical in nature. Hooray. Um, you know, there's a restaurant right here. I could eat at it. Uh, what is this? Con... Conroy? Uh, have I... Have I finished out Con Conroy? Uh, let me see. Conroy, where are you? Uh, I just realized Shellac and Earth Angel are not the same thing. That's funny. That's fucking funny, bitch. It's Winnie the fucking Pooh. Uh, oh, I haven't even... I have not eaten a single thing in Conroy? That's weird. I could have sworn I've eaten in Conroy by now. Whatever. Well, now's the perfect time to start. Yes, I know. Salted tongue, sure. Okay. I'm just looking at the quest after this one. Return to Dragon Palace. That does not ring a bell, I won't lie. Is that Ryo Gujo? That might be, because I think Ryu is like the a, pre a prefix or a character for Dragon. That probably is, actually, because it's, yeah. Whatever. Um, so let's keep on keeping on, as they say. You know, I'm just going to keep the, the mini map like this. Actually, no, I'm not. What am I saying? Asshole. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on. I just want to walk two feet without a random encounter. Haven't I done enough? Am I not overleveled enough where they can stop appearing yet? So, and not to be, like, bitchy about this, but, like, that was one of the nice things about Yakuza 2. Was that after a while, they were like, okay, you've done enough random encounters. You don't have to do anymore. We, we acknowledge your random encounterness. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm kinda I'm kind of at the point where I just wanna be done with random encounters. But whatever. I'm, I'm gonna stop pitching, even though that's literally what I do best. Literally. Literally okay, I'm done. Alright. Okay, this should be M store right there. And random encounter time. So if I don't get... If I do not get this cutscene... Hello? Yeah, there's supposedly like... I'm so, Enter the M store. Walk towards the magazine rack. This is the magazine rack. Go to Shell and speak to the photographer. I'm walking towards the magazine rack. Yeah, I'm going to walk through all of Shell or excuse me, all of them, just to make sure I'm not, like, I don't know, getting it wrong, but, like, those look like magazines. I don't know about you guys, but they look like magazines to me. Maybe you have to walk from this angle? That would be so dumb if you do. All right. So I genuinely don't know how I'm going to start this. I will have to probably figure out what the other... Like, if there's another prerequisite, because I already checked to make sure it's in the PS3 version, and it is, so. Whatever, let's just do the Rio Gujo one, and then that'll be that. Uh, so, east of Batting Center, you should encounter a few punks. Okay, well, here's the Batting Center. How convenient. 
I mean, this is generally where Rio Gujo was, anyways. Alright, so. Here we are. Should be probably. When they say east, they probably mean on this street. Because this is where Rio Gujo was, too. Yeah, here we go. Hello? Hello? What is, uh. Is this what we're talking about? Uh, go west and north towards the edge of the map to see the homeless guy surrounded by the punk. Okay. The punks. Okay, so, whatever. Is there something here? No, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's do some exploring. While we're here, I want to look, make sure I'm not missing any keys. Okay, sorry, I just, I have to check. I legally have to. Okay, here we go. Does a gay run that pisses you off? Y you there. You gotta help me. The they're gonna murder me. What's going on? The those guys there. Now, now, you know it's against the rules to get outsiders involved. Hobo hunter. All right. Garbage belongs in the dump, doesn't it? We're pretty particular about environmental issues, you see. You gotta sort your trash. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you're doing? Taking out the trash. Oh, I guess you could call it hobo hunting. <laughs> We're cleaning up the stinky hobos in this part of town. After all, they say we should all pitch in to keep the city clean. <laughs> These punks... Not only did they steal my shelter, but then they went after Tatsu and Masa. Come on, pal. Hand over the garbage. We'll give it a good beating for you. You bastards. We'll see who it should just... I should just... Put oh my god. After he says you bastards, you bastards. I would deal with this, but I have a very important dental appointment coming up in a few minutes. I have to go. <laughs> we'll see who gets a beating. No, we'll just see who gets that beating. What are you talking about, Pops? Just who did you think was going to give us a smackdown, huh? That would be me. But I thought you should stay in your little brat hangouts. We have to sort out our trash after all. Or sort our trash after all. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> good one, good one. What kind of old, what can one old dude? <laughs> now I just sound like a fucking Pianta from Super Mario Sunshine. What can one old dude like you do anyway? Come on, let's teach him a lesson. Alright. And it's the same battle music as, as literally every fucking encounter has had, so whatever. I'm kind of tired of this track, I really am. Um, maybe it's just in my head, but it feels like it's the only fucking fight track that I've heard for the past, like, six fights or whatever. Okay, I keep forgetting I can block, because I got that new upgrade for blocking. Let's test it out, I want to see what it looks like. It's like, what, reblock? Ugh. The hit, uh, shoe brand. That joke could have been funnier. Whatever. Alright, I missed it. Whatever. Why? Why are you getting hit? Stop that. Bye! You made it easy to kill you. <sighs> All right, are we done here? Go, 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 go. Oh, damn! Why aren't you scared of us? I lived in Camarocho in a very different era. Very different. Oh. These hobo men are citizens of this town. Not some Johnny-come-lately trash like you. Johnny come lately. That is such a localization thing. Whatever. Like you jokers. Don't lay a finger on any of them again. No. This ain't the last you heard of us, mister. 
Yeah, whatever. Thank you so much. You saved my hide. I almost thought that said hole for a second. I won't lie to you. If you ever get into a pinch like that, just run. You don't want to tangle with those punks. I have a favor to ask you. From one man who lives in this town to another. Oh, yeah? What's that? I need you to help our friends. Help how? As it happens, those brats have been coming after those hobo guys for a reason. They've stormed our main shelter and burned, turned it into their own hideout. Some, what the fuck does that word say? Oh, abandoned. Some aban or excuse me, some abandoned building in Camarocho, I take it. Yes, when Camarocho Hills was set to be built in Purgatory two years ago, we lost our spot and made a nice one in the abandoned building. That's how it was in Yakuza 2, yes. Now those brats have driven us out. And to make matters worse, whenever they see one of us on the street, they treat us like they're playthings. They're the worst, excuse me, they're the worst of the worst. We're no match for the young folk these days, so please, will you step in for us and take back Rio Gujo once and for all? Did you just say Rio Gujo? Yes, that's what we call it among ourselves, Rio Gujo. That name sounds familiar. I may have heard about this Rio Gujo some two years back. Of course you did. So where is this Rio Gujo building anyway? It's behind the MEB Info Center. So what do you say? Feel like sn what? Snatching? Yeah, snatching Rio Gujo out of the hands of those wretched punks. Sure, Kamurocho is, is no place for that kind of toxic mold. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's a phrase that you could use. And, and whatever. We can't let it go unchecked. And I won't let those brats spoil my town. I thought that said brain. I, I'm not sure what you're getting at, but thanks all the same. You're our savior. Good luck out there. Thanks. He said Rio Gujo was behind MEB Info Center. So I am not. I'm, I'm not doing that right now. We're going to finish this. We're going to finish this next time. I, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh... I am running into the issue of it being very hot and stuffy in here when I record, so I'm kind of at the point where I just don't want to be in this room anymore, period, and it helps that I've got about a, an hour's worth of content, a little less, obviously, but we'll finish this next time. Uh, there's This quest line opens up some other quests. I'll look into what happened with, uh, uh, what happened with, with the, um, the other, the M store quest. After this, it looks like is, uh, uh, the, after, after we do this quest line, sub story line, whatever, there's going to be a bowling one, uh, yeah, the bowling one sounds like it'll be bad, but I'm probably going to just try and brute force it, because you have to get a bowling score over 200, and then you get challenged by a guy called Death Bowler, you know, Death Bowler, uh, I don't know how long that'll take, hopefully not too long. And then I think after Death Bowler, that's it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because the only thing left is... Uh, the only stuff left is the dating side quests. And I don't know when you do those. I might look into seeing how you start those in the PS3 version. Since they're quick and easy, but eh, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next time. See you then.